Okay, so um, let's come back to here, chapter four. So from last class, we have done question one, question two. Okay, so for those that have missed it, uh, make sure you go back to last class recording. It's under chapter four, buku catatan pertama, journal A. All right, okay. So now let's move on to question three. So question three is still under journal A. Right, so after the question three, then we go to question four. Question four will be in Jenna Haas. Okay, so let's go. Let's do a question three first. Quick recap for you. Okay, so let's read it first. Urus niaga yang berikut dipoli daripada rekod berekangan kedai kod Q. And number A, pemilik mengambil komputer pejabat bernilai RM1,200 untuk kegunaan peribadi. Okay, so what is this actually? This is actually a, a ambilan, right? So how do we know if it's ambilan? Mengambil komputer pejabat untuk kegunaan peribadi. Peribadi means sendiri. So when you mengambil barang untuk Kegunaan sendiri, that is ambilan. So, ambilan, rekod dalam mana? Dalam your journal arm. Alright, so here, let's prepare a journal arm. Okay, so format is the same. You have your tarik. Lepas tu, your butiran. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, debit. Credit. And don't forget about your folio. That boom, boom, boom. Uh, oops. Mm, this one. Hold the line. Soon, soon, soon. So, so, so. Okay, but uh, for this question, there's no tarik, right? Okay, you can't see any tarik. So, uh, this one you can actually put uh, bilangan. Okay, you can also view, all right, BIL bilangan. So, for this one, you can put like A like that. All right, so that's how uh, flexible general arm is. So, general arm can either be like Tarik here, so if it's tarik, then you put the date here. Okay, but in this question, no date. Okay, tarik is like what? This one, this is a chanto for tarik. Okay, so for this one, it's A, B, C, D, then you can put something like that. Bilangan, then A. Okay, so A, how? So A, you ambil barang. So when you have an ambilan, okay, when you have an ambilan, you ambil apa? As a permilit, as an owner, you, you ambil computer pejabat. And I tell you, what concept is this? This is a concept entity berasingan. So I told you, business ialah satu entity, pemilik ialah satu entity. All right, this is the pemilik, the owner. So when the pemilik ambil barang daripada the business, so this is the pejabat, the alatan pejabat. So what actually happens to this alatan pejabat? The alatan pejabat is actually going out of us. Why? Because I told you as an accountant, we see business as ourselves, us. So we are the business. So when you're doing accounting, you have to think that we are the business, we are the business, we are the business, we are the company, we are the company. We are not the permilit. We are not the owner. We are the business. So now when the permilit take the alatan pejabat from us, so the alatan pejabat is actually going out. So when it is going out, we have to credit alatan pejabat. You know what I mean? So we have to credit alatan pejabat. So when you credit, so here will be, you have to, remember you have to make a space of a gap of your thumb around there. So skip, skip, skip around here. So this is credit alatan pejabat. How much? So you see how always when it is credit, then there's a gap here. Okay, make a space in between here and then write what is being credited. 
And in the credit column, because it's credit, so the amount will be under the credit, so which is uh, 1,200. And of course, make sure you have a, uh, a RM will give Malaysia on top under your debit credit. So RM, RM. Okay, so when I told you for your Bukuchan Pertama, for your ledger, we always menggunakan uh, prinsip ini panggil system catatan begu. Let me write down again for you. System catatan begu. And for those that are learning in English, it is called a double entry. Okay, so this is the BM. This is the English. So BM, when you see system chatan bergu a bit, this term is a bit high class, a bit difficult to understand. What is bergu? Okay, no worries. So now we translate it into English. Uh, this is more, uh, more easy to understand, right? Easy to understand. So you can see the double. Double means what? One, two, double lah, dua lah. Okay, so double and three, now you, you, you get what it means, right? So meaning you have to enter two times. You must show your entry satu kali, dua kali in order to be considered double. Alright? So therefore, when you're doing urus, uh, urus niaga like this one, like A, always kita have to buat dua kali entry. Double entry. So yang pertama ialah alatan pejabat. So that is kali pertama. So kali kedua, the other one must be debit. Right? Why? Because if this is credit, then the other one must be credit. If, I mean, sorry, if this is credit, the other one must be debit. If this is debit, the other one must be credit because it's either debit, credit, debit, credit, debit, credit. We can never what much on debit, debit, credit, credit, cannot. All right? It must be debit and credit. Just like your manek must be north and south connect together. It cannot be north and north. North and north cannot. Double A. All right, it must be north and south, then only they can be attracted. All right, so it must be debit and credit. So now, alatan pejabat telah di credit gun, so the other account must be debit. And what is that account? This is called account ambulance. All right, and the amount must be same, 1,200. So this is how you do a system chatan burgu, or in English, we call a double entry in your journal arm. Right after done, make sure you have a keterangan. What is this keterangan for? To tell people uh, what happens here. Right. So from here you can actually copy. Okay. How do you copy? Copy from the question. So you can straight away take the kata uh, kerja. So starting from here you say mengambil, or you can say pemilik. Siapa yang mengambil? So pemilik mengambil uh, alatan pejabat. Or you can say mengambil computer. Okay, up to you. Okay, either computer or alatan pejabat. You want to put computer can also computer pejabat. Okay, untuk for what? Untuk kegunaan sendiri. Boom. That's it. All right, so this is a complete one. Okay, so after that, draw a line. We skip one line and then draw a line. Okay, then we go to B. Okay, so can I understand or not for A? If yes, give me A in the chat box. Can you understand A? If yes, give me an A in the chat box. All right, so sometimes you just need to understand the concept. What concept? Debit and credit being a concept. So debit means in, credit means out. Simple. Okay, and if you think slightly deeper, then you can actually see that in our life is always debit and credit. Okay, debit and credit is just like a, a concept. Okay, contoh. Yeah, let's say now you're in the room. Okay. I think every one of us now is in the room, in our own room. Okay, so 
if you want to go to your living room or you want to go to the kitchen, okay, to get a cup of water, you know, so you have to go out of your room. Okay, so when you go out of the room, the, the, the action of that, okay, if you put into accounting term, debit and credit, meaning when you're going out of your room, your room is actually credit, okay, while your kitchen sedang di debitkan. You know what I mean? Meaning now you go into the kitchen, so now you debit kitchen, and at the same time, you go out of your room. So your room sedang uh, telah di kreditkan. Credit means out. So you go out of your room and go into your kitchen. So that is your debit, kitchen, credit, your room. Do you understand or not? If yes, give me a yes in the chat box. So it's the same thing. So And we can never debit, debit. Now you know why. Why? Because at the same time, we as a person, we cannot be in the room and in the kitchen. Okay, we can only be one place. That's why it's debit, satu, and credit, another one. And if you want to go out, you only can go out of one place. You cannot go out from your school and go out at your home, um, okay, at the same time. Tak boleh. Okay, you can either go out of one place, and then when you go out of one place, you must go into somewhere. That's why it must be debit and credit. That's the concept of this system, Charan Babu, Tabo and Chi. All right, so next we go to B. Yeah, B, membeli sebuah komputer dan mesin pencetak daripada COM Enterprise untuk kegunaan perniagaan 4,300. Now, for this kind of question, okay, if they want to be more specific, kan, okay, they should enter like secara apa? Secara, is it secara credit? or secara check atau tunai, right? But based on this question, since the mereka tak uh, mention this is secara tunai, death, and they already given us the name of the company yang kita beli daripada, so this is actually secara credit. Okay, this is actually secara credit. So now, if this is secara credit, and apa yang kita beli? Kita beli computer dan mesin pencetak, all these are actually uh, apa, asset bukan semasa. Betul so if this is an asset bukan semasa, and this is a secara credit, then we have the record dalam apa? Jurnal am. Alright, so now that's why we go to B, jurnal am. Okay, now same thing, use your debit credit concept. So when you beli sebuah computer dan mesin pencetak, so when you buy them, Apa, your computer machine purchase will come in to the company. Betul so when they katang, they masuk kepada uh, company kita, so we now have to debit computer and machine purchase. Alright? And of course, in accounting, kita tak ada account computer, kita tak ada account machine purchase. So all of them, we group them into satu nama, kita panggil mereka account alatan pejabat. Like this one, alatan pejabat. All right, so and in your journal arm, you don't have to write account again. You just straight away write the name, which is uh, Alatan Pejabat. Okay, so now, very simple. Once you debit certain account, the other account must be credit. Now you know, all right, debit, credit. So what do we credit now? So, siapa yang kita beli ini daripada? Daripada? COM Enterprise. Therefore, we have to credit COM Enterprise. And if you uh, did your BAP 2, Persimuan Perkaunan, we know that this is actually account belum bayar because it's a child credit. So we can do something like that. COM Enterprise. Alright, so account yang belum bayar. Maksudnya, kita belum bayar kepada COM Enterprise. Okay, kita sudah beli, but secara kredit, secara hutang. So, I already taken the computer and machine pencetak. I'm using it in my office, but I haven't paid COM Enterprise yet. So, if I haven't paid yet, 
in BM maksud belum bayar, right? Therefore, it's got account belum bayar, siapa? COM Enterprise. So, how much? 4,300, 4,300. So, must be the same, huh? You can never be like here 4,000, then here 4,300. Tak boleh, must be imbang. Alright, and the keterangan, don't forget. So, what happened to this one? Then you can say, membeli... Membeli apa? Membeli komputer dan mesin pencetak. But sometimes you think, yo, komputer dan mesin pencetak empat perkataan a bit susah, right? Okay, so you want to be quick. You can show you, right? Membeli alatan pejabat. Faster, right? So just use dua words, kau tim. Alright, so membeli alatan pejabat. Apa? Dari Bada COM Enterprise. Or we know that this is actually secara kredit. So you can still write secara kredit. Faster. Nah, membeli alatan pejabat secara kredit. You see? So now we know. Oh, so uh, debit and credit is why? Kerana kita telah beli alatan pejabat secara kredit. That's it. Then skip a line. Draw one line. So okay not for B. If yes, give me a B in the chat box. B in the chat box. B, B, B. Okay. So now, let's move on to C. Right? B done, C. Okay, B. I mean, A done, B done. Okay, C. Menjual sebuah van terpakai bernilai 10,800 kepada Mazira secara kredit. So, secara kredit, we forget about the the buku tonight, right? So, secara kredit mesti memang jurnal. Okay, but now, you ask yourself a question. Is it a jurnal arm? Alright, secara kredit. So, is it a jurnal arm? Or is it a jurnal has? Okay, so, we go back there and see. So, beli apa? Beli sebuah van terpakai definitely van terpakai bukan uh, barang niaga kita isn't it so van terpakai is a, a kenderaan therefore this is actually a bukan barang niaga or we call it asset bukan semasa so if you beli or jual asset bukan semasa secara kredit then we throw into journal um all right so journal um go to C. So same thing, use your debit credit. Okay, try yourself. So you think apa yang masuk, apa yang keras. So now you draw van terpakai. So when you draw your sell, what's up? The van terpakai akan keluar daripada business. They will go out. So when they go out, we know credit van terpakai. So let's go and credit it first. So you skip, skip, skip. Okay. So when the pakai, we don't the other when the pakai. Okay. We only got account kenderaan. So you use account kenderaan. Kenderaan. So you credit kenderaan. How much? Uh 10,800. Okay, 10,800. Okay, so when one is credit, another one must be debit. That's why I purposely skip one line. And the credit must always be uh, at the bottom, ah, uh, and debit ke atas. So, apa yang debit? So, when you draw kebala mazira secara kredit, so when it is draw secara kredit, then this must be account belum terima. Tadi kita beli secara kredit. So, when we beli secara kredit, account belum bayar. Okay, the B here. Beli, belum, beli dan belum bayar, then uh, B. Okay, if you draw secara kredit, then this account belum terima. And who is this account? Belum terima. The name is really given there. It is uh, Mazira. So we put Mazira there. So what does it mean? Meaning, the kenderaan telah keluar, sudah keluar kepada uh, Mazira. I already sold this uh, van terbakai to Mazira. But Mazira hasn't paid me the money yet. Meaning, I haven't received the money from Mazira. When I haven't received, you translate into BN. Panggil apa? Belum. Terima lah. Okay. Haven't received. Belum terima. So when you belum terima, then that's why it's called account belum terima. Siapa? Mazira lah orang tu. So how much? Same figure, 10,800. Tentu, uh, your keterangan. 
All right, so what happens? So same thing. You just straight away put the kata kerja, menjual. Menjual apa? Menjual, you can write van terpakai or you want, you can write menjual kenderaan. Okay, quicker. Okay, if you want to be safe, okay, sometimes you're not sure is it a kenderaan or what, then you can write uh, menjual sebuah van terpakai. Up to you, you can actually copy the whole thing. But of course, try to minimize the words. Okay, try to simplify it, make it a summary. Right, so menjual kenderaan very important. Secara apa? Is it secara tunai or secara kredit? So this is secara kredit. That's why we have a uh, a complementary one. Okay, so you okay with C? Faham C? Can you give me a C in the chat box? Okay, C, 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 C. Okay. All right. Okay. Last one, donkey. Okay. Pemilih, membawa masuk perabot, peribadi, bernilai 2,000 ringgit ke dalam perniagaan. Okay. Tadi, pemilih mengambil, then we call it the ambilan. Right. Sekarang, pemilih membawa masuk. What does membawa masuk mean? Meaning, pemilih ada perabot sendiri, perabot peribadi masuk perabot sendiri. So, pemilik membawa masuk dia punya perabot into the business. So, from the point of view of the business, kita actually menerima, we receive the perabot. right? So, the perabot actually coming in. So, when the perabot comes in, in account, kita panggil dia debit. Debit perabot, isn't it? Okay, so when credit, so now what is this actually? This is actually a modal tambahan. When pemilik mengambil barang untuk kegunaan sendiri, that is the ambilan. Okay, when pemilik membawa masuk atau kita panggil tambahkan modal, then that is called a modal tambahan. But there is no account panggil modal tambahan, there is an account panggil Modal. Therefore, kita kreditkan modal. And why do we credit modal? Think from pemilik. Pemilik actually the the prabot goes out of pemilik. Okay, entity by singan. Okay, so separate. There's a view. This is called a view of corporation. So, this is the business. Us, okay. Then this is the pemilik, the owner. Nah, see ya. Sekarang pemilik membawa masuk perabot. Let's say a perabot. This is maybe a sofa, macam tu. The L shape punya sofa. Okay. Um, Sure, how do you draw this? Uh, something like that, uh, okay? So, a bit 3D, uh. Uh, okay? Uh, L shape. Okay, so, pemilik bawa masuk. So, from here, this is actually in, right? They will come in and actually going out of pemilik. Therefore, in is debit and out is credit. Uh -huh. That's why in the business side here, the perabot, the debit, while kita credit apa? They go out of the pemilik, so here kita credit our model. All right, so go back there. This is our explanation for you. So come back, come back here. Uh, so how much is it? It's 2,000 ringgit, 2,000, 2,000. So here, pemilik membawa masuk perabot peribadi untuk oh, ke dalam perniagaan.
That's it. D, boleh faham tak? If yes, give me the D in the chat box. Okay, if you don't want to get D, make sure you understand D. All right, good. Okay, so from here, you saw something, you saw this one or not? This is what I explained in last class. What is it again? So I think most of you already forgotten it. So this is the Aba Lim. So let me repeat. This is called the A Ba Lim. So follow accordingly, yeah. A B A L H M. So the A is actually the asset, the B is a belanger, the A is the ambulant, the L is a liability, the H is a hasu, and the M is the model. You know, and here is a debit side, and here is a credit side. Therefore, you just now you saw when you burly asset, you no, know, you debit the asset. When you are the ambulant, you debit ambulant. You see, so you refer back what you have done, okay? The ambulance is in the debit. While when kita men mentambahkan, okay, menambah modal atau membawa masuk, kita go and credit the modal. That's why the modal is in the credit side. Then understand, okay? If understand, give me a abalim. Okay, type out abalim again in the chat box. A B A L H M in the chat box. Hmm. So the more you type, the more you understand, the more you remember. Okay, so later when we go into chapter five, later, we will be using it again. The great Abalim. All right, so go back. Let's continue the question. Okay, now let's move on to question four. Okay, very good. I see all your Abalim. And type out okay so it's a b a l h m okay so question four so what are we supposed to do in this question four question four says catatkan urus niaga yang very good ke dalam buku catatan pertama yang sesuai so this is uh these are the date they given all right so anda dikenaki menjadikan jenna jualan jenna belian jenna pulangan jalan jenna pulangan belian Okay, so before that, let's look at the format first. So this is the format for the journal Berlian Jalan, Pulangan Berlian, and Pulangan Jalan. And all this, we call it what? This is the uh, journal us. Tadi what we learned is the journal arm, and sekarang is the journal us. Just that, kita the other journal has been your format, all these are journal has. So in journal has, there is a journal Berlian, journal Jalan, Jena pulangan belian and jena pulangan jalan and this is the format so you can see it's actually different it's slightly different okay so tarik sama butir sama folio sama okay the only difference is instead of debit credit they make it into jumlah all right take note here okay and uh, sometimes if the number document is given in the question then we can put a number document if it's not given the question, then we don't have to put number document. All right, so this is actually flexible. Okay, all this number document is actually flexible. All right, but most importantly, what must be here is your tarik, butil, folio, and jumla. Okay, if okay, give me okay in the chat box. Okay, so very good. Okay, now come back to here. So, journal jalan, journal belian, pulangan jalan, pulangan belian, I think uh, is very self explanatory. Okay, but uh, just in case you uh, faham. Okay, so let's forget about journal first. Let's zoom into the word. Okay, before you do the question, or before you even 
do the format for the journal, Berlian, journal, journal. Okay, make sure you understand what the word means first. Okay, what the term means. Okay, so what you can see is the Berlian, the journal, the Pulangan, Berlian, and also the Pulangan journal. All right. Okay, so what does Berlian means? Okay, so Berlian, BM, you nampak beli, the kata dasar, right? So beli tambah AN, then you get a Berlian. Okay, so Berlian, so actually, what are we buying? Apa yang kita beli? So if I am to give a definition to this Berlian, Berlian means membeli barang yang lebih. Okay, just that from this membeli barang niaga, I compress it into one word, one term. That is berlian. Do you understand? Now, if yes, give me a B in the chat box. Okay, so I think barang niaga, I don't have to explain again, right? So, contoh, let's say my business Let's say I draw apa ni? shirts, all right, baju. Okay, so if my business is to sell baju, so when I beli baju, then the baju is my barang niaga. Yeah, but if my business is to sell baju and I go and buy meja, kerusi, Business is not to sell uh, currency. My business is not to sell major. Therefore, major and currency yelah bukan barang So that is actually our asset bukan semasa. Is it not? So if I beli asset bukan semasa or I beli major atau currency secara credit, then I record into where? The journal arm. Tadi situ. So those are actually the example for jenis arm in question three, right? But if I say saya beli baju, which is my baron niaga, therefore I have to record in my jenis khas. Which part of the jenis khas you beli baju? Therefore it is in jenis belian. Ah, right. So belian means beli barang niaga. Okay, then jalan simple lah. So it means you draw draw apa? Actually is Menjual barang niaga. And pulangan belian means memulangkan barang niaga. Okay, so if more specific ialah uh, saya yang or my business yang memulangkan barang niaga kepada pembekal, the seller. Okay. Then, pulangan jualan is actually dipulangkan. Okay, barang niaga dipulangkan oleh Oleh pelanggan, your customer. Is it not two different things? So when so pulangan belian is always linked to your belian lah. So let's say saya beli baju, saya beli barang niaga sekarang hari ini saya beli banyak baju daripada let's say Bob. Yeah, I beli daripada Bob. Okay, then I found out that eh. Baju ini saya nak kuning, tapi dia bagi hijau. So, what am I going to do? I akan pulangkan baju ini kepada Bob. So, tadi saya beli, sekarang saya pulangkan. That's why it is called a pulangan of this berlian. 
Je dis, n'est-ce pas, il vient de me un PB, pour l'angan, bolien, PB. OK, good. All right, so, of course, when you come to pour l'angan, John, then, the bolien, okay, it will be opposite of it. So, let's say, now, after I bolien, I got a lot of uh, baju, of course, I need to sell it in order to make money. Because I not do it, and I, uh, Untung, so I perlu jauhkan barang yang ini. I perlu jauhkan uh, this uh, baju. Okay, so let's say a customer come and buy my shirts. Okay, so I sell the shirts to Jeffrey. Okay, so Jeffrey is my customer. He is my pelanggan. So dia yang beli uh, baju saya. Okay, so Jeffrey buy. Uh, semua M size. Okay, so Jeffrey actually bought M size. Tapi, after Jeffrey go home, and then he tests out again the shirts, and then he found that, hey, actually M size is not for me. I should go for L size. Okay, so, salah size. So, if salah size, what Jeffrey is going to do? Jeffrey is gonna return pulangkan baju itu kepada kita to us. And that's why this is the pulangan of apa yang kita jual tadi. That's why it's called a pulangan jual. That's why here is lah dipulangkan oleh orang itu. This is a passive form. This is active. This is a passive. So do you understand about PJ? Pulangan John, if yes, give me a PJ in the chat box. Right, so make sure you understand all this term and all this term in order to be in journal, then there must be Sir Chara Credit. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, journal Berlin meaning. Membeli barang niaga sejak kredit. That's why there is a journal. Okay, journal journal means menjual barang niaga secara kredit. Okay, if it is belian secara tunai, then we cannot record in journal belian. We have to record in buku tunai. Okay, we should learn later. Okay, so after knowing all this journal belian, journal jalan. Jena pulangan belian, jena pulangan jalan. Okay, let's do the question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is question four. Yeah, okay, question four. Um, okay. Normally, before we do the question, okay, before we draw out all the boxes. I will go through the question first. I mean, I will go through all these steps first and then identify is it a journal journal, is it a journal bullion, or pulangan jalan or pulangan bullion. All right, so let's do it together so that uh, we can, after we know them, we can show uh, show into the format later. Okay, so let me erase this part. Okay, so first one, may do a. May do menjual. Can you see? So menjual barang thirty thousand seven hundred secara kredit. You see? So when you draw, this is barang niaga, alright. So when you draw barang niaga secara kredit, then we know this is in the journal jualan. I put it J J journal jualan. Okay, simple right? This one. If okay, give me a two in the chat box. Tarik dua, May 2nd. Alright, now we go to 6. Now, you see, membeli, beli apa? Barang niaga. Okay, membeli barang niaga secara kredit. So, when you membeli barang niaga, that is a belian. Secara kredit, that is a journal. So, this is in the journal belian. Put a JB there, a journal belian. Okay, so next, 8, okay, uh, May 8. 
menjual, same thing, menjual barang secara kredit. So, jual barang niaga kredit. JJ, kena jual. Very simple. Okay, number 12. Okay, be careful with this one. Barang berkos 920 dipulangkan oleh kedai jam tangan li. Meaning, the kedai jam tangan li is our customer. Right? That's why dia dipulangkan oleh. Bukan kita yang memulangkan. So, when it is dipulangkan oleh siapa-siapa, then this is definitely a pulangan apa? PJ, yes. Very good. Pulangan jalan. PJ. Okay, now. Now, go to 15. That's an example of what? Pulangkan. So, now, ialah kita yang pulangkan barang rosak kepada our pembekal. So, this is our pembekal. So, this is a P pulangan belian. So, maybe in here, you can put a JPJ. Okay. Jena pulangan jalan. Jena Pulangan belan JPB, right? Okay, now we do the seventeen. Very simple. You beli barang ni aga secara kredit JB jenah belan. Okay, twelve. Ah, uh, me sorry, twenty third. Barang rosak pada harga senarai eight hundred thirty dipulangkan, but here instead of oleh dia cakap kepada. Okay, so that's why you have to be very careful with the term. You just like ah uh, tada bahasa a bit of ah uh, testing you. BM kind of thing, right? So, dipulangkan kepada. So, when say kepada meaning kita yang pulangkan. Isn't it? If oleh ialah orang yang pulangkan kepada kita. So, sekarang kepada means towards, going to. So, now we are pulangkan kepada syarikat bina. Therefore, this is actually a pulangan, jenis pulangan belian. I return what I buy. Okay? Return back to syarikat bina. Jenis pulangan belian. Alright, 26. Beli barang yang secara kredit. Simple. Jenis belian. Secara kredit. Okay, last one. Menjual barang. Menjual barang secara kredit. So, jenis jalan. So, all this okay or not? If okay, give me a JK. Jenis khas. In the chat box. And hopefully, uh, you guys are not joking about it. Uh. Okay, so, you actually faham JK, jenis khas. That's why you put a JK there. Alright. So, the rest, are you okay with this jenis khas or not? So, this is basically the jenis khas. Jenis jalan, jenis belian, jenis pulangan jalan, jenis pulangan jalan. Or pulangan belian. Should be pulangan belian. Okay. So, Put in the format. So first thing, this is our A. Okay, for A. What is for A? For A. What are all those discount though? Okay, later. Uh, discount. Later, we will come to this part of discount. All right. So first, let's uh, what gun the format. So for the first one is uh, Jenna Jalan. So here you can put Jenna. Draw none. Then you draw out the format. So there is a tarik, there is a butiran, butil. Then we got jumla here. Number document. Do we have number document here? Now you see all these are the number document. All right, it's giving the question. Therefore, we put number document. And for you. Show the line.
Okay. So uh, I will leave about one, two, three, four. I would say five lines. Uh, all right. Five or six. I uh, can make it six. Uh, all right. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then do the B. The B is what? Journal, Berlin. Okay, so Journal, Berlin. Then draw the same thing. All right. Uh, Tare, Putiran, Folio, Number Document, Jumla. So again, after your Tare, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then you go to the C. Journal, Ulangan, Jualan. Because the question already given you the, the list, right? A, B, C, D, and A must be joined. So you follow, you equal. Okay, you don't go and change it yourself. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Last one. But normally, journal pulangan journal and journal pulangan bulan is lesser comparing to journal bulan and journal journal. Okay, so if you want, you can actually skip like four to five lines for pulangan. Okay, but just in case, okay, we don't want to later, like, blah, 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 okay, and then you number eight, that you could space, uh, that you could wrong, uh, that you need to squeeze everything inside. No, too ugly, not nice. All right? So make sure you give enough of space in between. All right? So that you can do, you know, sometimes you, you do some uh, error mistake, then maybe you cancel out and book out another line. So just give more lines, okay? More spaces. Then the D will be the journal ulangan. Berlian. So, the same thing. Right? So, you can see that actually the journal jalan belian, pulangan jalan, and pulangan belian, the formats are all the same. Okay? Macam tu. Tarik, butiran, folio, number document, jumlah. That's it. Okay? Then the tarik, two, two, one. Okay, so I'll give you another two minutes to draw all the boxes out, right? So two minutes to 9.24. Okay, so for those that are done, give me a done D-O-N-E in the chat box. So make sure all the lines are there. You don't, you don't want it to be messy. And of course, you take your time to draw, but not too much of time. Because in real exam, the clock is ticking. Okay, you have a limited time to complete all the questions. Therefore, you have to be smart. Okay, so when you're smart, you can go fast and neat. Okay, fast and neat. You don't have to take your own sweet time slowly, take out your ruler. And then you go and, you know, measure, okay, I suka 0 to 2 cm. So for tarik, lepas tu 2 to 6 cm for butiran, uh, double A, double A. Uh, slap your head if you do that. Okay, you just agak-agak. Okay, tarik, you write the tarik, then butiran, then folio, then number, then you draw, 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 and then you go to do another uh, another one, you know, but then, then you do the same thing. All right, so you need to be fast and neat. That's it. They have to be chante. Okay. Whether you chante, whether what you do is chante or not chante, the mark is still the same. Okay. I don't want chante. I want neat. Okay. Systematic. Done.
the part. Uh, all right, so I give you another one minute. Okay, to 9.25. So if you're done, give me a done. After that, I will start. Okay, so for those yang sudah siap punya, done punya, uh, you can go through the questions yourself. Okay, you try to like, uh, do it yourself like for May 2nd, my job around 30,700. So how should I record it? Uh, okay, it's uh, quite straightforward. Okay, bam, bam. 925. Okay, let's go on. Huh? Okay, so at the same time, maybe you can try to uh, pick up. All right, so two. Menjual barang. Okay, read it down here, right? JJ. So straightforward. Go to JJ. Jono Jalan. Is it? Right, of course, at the first attempt, it must be correct. Lah. Sometimes you can maybe double check. JJ, menjual, credit. Okay, so in your journal, Jolan, so you go May 2nd, the target must be accurate. Okay, so daripada siapa or kepada siapa. So kita jual barang kepada the name, kedai masa. Okay, so here, right, kedai masa. Nombor dokumen invoice. I and B invoice one 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 two, and how much? It is uh thirty thousand seven hundred. So we put the jumla thirty thousand seven hundred. Okay, so very simple. Okay, May second done. Now we go to May six. May six is JB Journal Berlin. Okay, so double check. Beli barang niaga, credit kepada dari pada siapa? Syarikat kata. So what you gonna do is go to your JB General Bolian. Tarik May six, alright. May six. Uh, kepada siapa? Or dari pada siapa? The name here. Syarikat kata. So you just write there. Syarikat kata. So, nombor dokumen ada tak? Ada. Invoice 2103. So, I and B 2103. Berapa jumlah? Hmm, 22,500. So, 22,500. So, make sure you got your RN on top or else I don't know. Is it a UK pound or US dollar or Sing dollar or LZ dollar or Euro? Okay, so now we are in Malaysia, so we use Ringgit Malaysia. Okay, six done. So go to eight. JJ, Jonah Jalan. All right, so go back to JJ. Menjau barang secara kredit kepada siapa? Kedai Seiki. This is not Kedai Seiko, ah. it's Seiki. Okay, so go to eight. You don't have to write May again because sudah ada May kat atas sini. So you can show we put eight there. Do okay, so to sepa kedai seiki, so kedai seiki. Okay, ada you know, is that ada one 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 three one 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 three. Okay, so how much? Okay, now this one you need to be a bit careful, you cannot straight away put the figure in. Yeah, you read, but the harga senarai. 37,800. How did this count near 10%? Okay, so if you remember in chapter 3 document, I told you that if there is a discount near and a Hagar scenario that I have to minus out the discount near dulu, then only get amount yang perlu dibayar or I call it a Hagar invoice. So now you use the 37,800 times the discount, which is the 10%, right? 37,800 times 10%, you get 3,780. This is the discount. But what is the amount yang perlu bayar? Amount yang perlu bayar ialah the original amount, 37,800, minus the discount, which is 3,780, equals to, that's why I say you have to learn out the discount, or else you'll be confused here. 
All right, three, four, O, two, O. Okay, thanks, Shiva. So you just, after you get this amount, you throw into your Joomla, 34,020. So now you know why we have to learn the discount and why I asked you to do the questions, the homework from last class. Okay, so do you understand for eight or not? If yes, give me a eight in the chat box, number eight. Uh, so we have to calculate the amount yang perlu dibayar. And what is discount niaga again? Discount niaga adalah untuk menggalakkan pembeli, uh, membeli secara buka, secara banyak. We want them to buy a lot. That's why we give discount niaga. All right? Okay. So eight done. We go to 12. 12 is JBJ Journal Pulangan uh, Jualan. All right? So... Jenna Pulangan Jalan, C. When is it? May 12. What's the name? Kedai Jam Tangan Li. Kedai. Is it? Uh, yeah. Kedai Jam Tangan Li. So, other number document that? Uh, other. This is a nota credit. NK. Nota credit. 001. Zero. Now, if you remember the credit, what I say about the NK credit, the NK, the credit, K, it goes to the P, the KP. You remember? Cut pengenalan. So, whenever you see a nota credit, you always link with the pulangan. That's why in the pulangan, you have the document as a nota credit. All right. So, NK, this one, and how much? For 12, you're uh, 920 ringgit. So you put 920. Okay. So 12 done. We go to 15. Uh, J. P. B. Jenna Pulangan Bilan. Because kita yang pulangkan. So May. And sometimes you have to be careful. Why? Because. The cost here is uh, they should be given, they give you right, but sometimes maybe there is a haggard scenario or discount at the back, so you have to minus out the discount. All right? So for here, straightforward 975 derivative Sharika Kata. Maybe you can refer back. Where is the Sharika Kata here? Okay, Sharika Kata here. Is that discount given to Sharika Kata tadi? Tada, we based on this uh, figure. So therefore, here we can show we take the figure as well. 967. All right, so Sharika Kata. Number document and K zero five six. This is six hundred seventy five. Fifteen done. All right, seventeen journal Berlin JB. So we go to the JB. When is it? Seventeen. JB17, daripada siapa? Syarikat Bina, Syarikat Bina. Alright, uh, invoice 4009. Okay, look at this one. How much do we record? Now, this is the harga scenario. This is the list price. Harga scenario, scenario maksud sebelum discount. Okay, if here they write Hager invoice, maksud selepas discount, after discount already. So we don't have to minus discount again. Okay, but here is Hager scenario, therefore we have to minus discount. So, how do you calculate? Use 27,700. 27,700 times the percentage. The percentage here is 20%, right? So 20%. And you get 5,540. So this is the discount nega. So not yet. Now we have to minus. What is the amount yang perlu bayar? What is the harga invoice? Use back the 27,700 minus the discount, which is 5,000. I mean, sorry, five, yeah, 5,540. And you get 5,540. You get 22,000. 160. So this is the amount that we record 
in for shared termina. So are you okay with 17? If yes, give me 17 in the chat box. Okay, now okay with 17, yeah. Okay, let's continue. 23rd. Baron Rosa pada harga sana 830 dipulangkan kepada syarikat Bina. Now, is, can you see this? Purposely put a harga sana right here. Meaning this 830 is based on the harga sana, right? It's not based on the amount yang perlu dibayar. Mm -hmm. So, go back to syarikat Bina. Syarikat Bina tadi. Okay, oh, 17. So, tadi kita beli Sekarang kita nak pulangkan because ada barang rosak. So, berapa yang discount discount yang, yang telah kita terima which is 20%. Right? So, now when we pulangkan, we have to use this figure tolakkan 20%. Therefore, how do you calculate it? So, uh, let's calculate the discount dulu. Use 830 ringgit times the 20%. How do we know 20%? You refer back. You find back. This is Sharika Bina. So you look for Sharika Bina here. 20%. So 830, 20%. You get 166. Alright. So amount yang perlu dipulangkan or amount yang perlu dibayar tadi ialah 830 minus 166 equals to 664. So this is the amount of value di pulangkan. So uh, we have 23rd JPB. So here 23rd JPB. Shall we cut? Bina, right? Shall we cut Bina? Old document 5560. And it is six six four six hundred sixty four. Okay, now go to twenty six. Beli barang uh, secara kredit kepada blah 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 JB Jenderal Pelian here. Okay. Twenty six. And kepada siapa? Don't believe it should be daripada, right? Okay, never mind. Daripada. Uh, could I check out? Yeah, see, for this question, there is no number invoice, whatever. So you can put actually a zero lah here. Or dash. Yeah, put a dash. You do. And then how much? So this is the Hager scenario, 25,800. There is a discount of 15%. So you do the same thing. The discount is actually 25,800 times 15%. 3,870. And amount yang perlu di will be used like 25,800 minus 3,870. You get... Uh, 21,930. So this is apa yang beli selepas discount. Boom. Done. We go to 29. Menjual barang. So this is JJ. So you go to Jenner Jalan. Up here, Jenner Jalan. Could I star the invoice other? So the boy invoices. One, 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 four. Uh, how much? So there is discount again. I guess so same thing. 
find out the discount. So 36,900 times 12%, you get 4,428 for the discount Hager. Then you use 36,900, the Hager scenario, minus of the discount, 4428, then you get 32,472. Okay, this one I miss out this one 31. So you baron rosa ke pada harga senarai 1100 dipulangkan oleh. So when you say dipulangkan oleh kedai star maksud this is actually a jenna pulangan jualan JPJ. Okay, so jenna pulangan jualan here 31st daripada kedai star. And when you see the kedai star must be in the jalan. You see, kedai star is the jalan. So when kedai star pulangkan, then it will be a pulangan jalan. All right. And then the number document is NK0011. Okay, now for this question, because you see, not pulangkan barang rosak pada harga senarai. So this is pada harga senarai. But when we sell to kedai star, we sell the price and buggy discount, proper percent, 12 percent. So you look back to the Kedai Star, here, 12 percent. You know, Kedai Star, Kedai Star, 12 percent. So now you have to do the same thing. You use 1,100 ringgit times 12 percent. Then this is the discount that kita telah uh, bagi kepada Kedai Star, 132. All right. So you use 1,100 minus the discount will be 968. All right, so this 968 we put inside here. Oh, that's it. Da -da. All right, and after that, we need to close. All right, so always remember there is a, a closing there. Okay, so here, after all this thing, then we draw a line. You can close it one by one. Okay, so now May. What is the last date for May? So May will be one, two, three, four, five, five. Uh, May got 31 days. Therefore, the last date will be 31st, right? For May. And so here, this is a journal jualan, right? Therefore, here you write account jualan. If it is a journal balloon, then you write account balloon. Okay. And now, uh, one thing. Can you see this thing here? Uh, so you need to write it. Okay. So for journal jalan, this is uh, credit. Okay. Journal jalan will be credit. All right. Then here, uh, but then you zoom the whole thing. So you get 97,192. So here you can do a one line double, uh, double line. Okay, here one line. Ah, so this is a completed journal jalan. Okay, and why is it credit? Why not debit leh? Huh, Mr. Why not debit? Why is it credit? Oh, because here they write credit, so we just say credit lah. Okay, but of course, they write here credit, then you follow credit, but why? What is the reason behind it? We have to understand it, why? So, if you remember the Abalim, again, you know, Abalim, all right, so you focus at this part here. The B for Belanger and H for Hasil. So the Jualan is actually under Hasil. Okay, because you sell, you tapat income, you tapat Hasil. So the Hasil is actually, the Jualan is under Hasil. And can you see now, where is this Hasil located at? The Hasil is under the credit side. Therefore, the account Jualan is KT credit. Do you understand or not? If yes, give me a U in the chat box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so okay, okay. Do the same thing for this one. 
So for general boolean, draw the line. Boom. Okay, let's do it 31st. So this is general boolean. So you make it account, change the journal to account, account boolean. So boom, boom. So this one, now B boolean is under belanger. So whenever you see a B, just remember this is a belanger. All right, so a belanger is located where? In the debit side. Therefore, your account boolean here will be debit. So you can like Draw line shape. Okay, now same thing here. So pulangan jalan. Account pulangan jalan. Now, and pulangan jalan is, is the opposite of jalan. So if jalan, you know it is a credit, therefore pulangan jalan must be opposite. Then that will be debit. That's why if you go back to your bab 2, account check contra the account contra the last page almost to the last part of your part uh, bab two you see one subtopic called contra chatatan contra so the contra of jalan is pulangan jalan the contra of berlian is pulangan berlian so it's all here therefore it's opposite of. therefore uh jalan jalan credit your pulangan jalan Okay, then So same thing, general change to account, account pulangan. Boom, 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 boom. So belian, pulangan belian will be opposite. So if belian is debit, pulangan belian will be credit. This will be two tools. Okay, so that's it. So this is your general has general jalan, belian, pulangan jalan, pulangan belian. Okay, get on. Okay, so for those that have done this part, give me a done, D-O-N-E in the chat box. Let's see, that's done. Wow, so fast. Uh. Okay, so for those that haven't done quickly, do it, finish it. And if you think you can't finish it by now, uh, just screenshot it, all right? 
Okay, so this is this is question five, six. I think we don't have enough time for question five actually. So question five is a long question. Okay, so you can say question five, boom, everything inside it. And I want to change it. It's just not to Jenna Haas, but uh, make it like um, Jenna. Wait, let me see this question. Okay, so maybe you say Kedalam Jenna Haas. Dan jenna am, um, mm, that will be more appropriate. Ah, so I add another jenna am um into it. So meaning from this question, you have to do the jenna am um and jenna has, or kedalam jenna. Ah, just cancel it. Meaning jenna ada dua mah, right? Jenna am um dan jenna has. So next class we're gonna go through this part. All right. So everyone, are we done for this question four? If yes, give me a yes again, just to reassure. Everyone done, give me a yes. Okay, so in this class, we completed up, uh, up until Janahas. So just now in the beginning, I recap uh, with you the, the Janaham, right? So Janaham and Janahas, yeah. Okay, so in next class, uh, in the beginning, then we will go this one. Okay, this question, question five, meaning the combination of arm and has. So when do we record in arm? When do we record in has? Okay, so this is more complete. After that, uh, I think we can finish off uh, the penerima an. Okay, so this is another part of it. Jena penerima an dan jena pembayaran tunai. All right, so... Okay, I think that's all for today. But before I let you go, there's one thing that cannot be missed. That is the homework, right? Because practice is very important in accounting. Okay, so take out your workbook. It's time to write down your homework. So first, go to the page 14. So this one. And then... Uh, Okay, so go to page 14 and you will see it's about to. Yep, you're right. So you have to complete the 30 questions of objective on the BAP 2. Let me just put it down here. So page, go to page 14, and then you need to do uh, the 30 questions of objective. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you, this is BAP 2, huh? But do okay. Then you go to page fifty nine. Okay, go to page fifty nine. Let me see. Page fifty nine, fifty nine. Okay, page fifty nine. Uh, you do question ten. So question ten is something like what we did just now for the first question, right? This one. Question three, okay, something like that. Okay, then uh, after question 10, you have to do question 12. Okay, so this question 12 is general arm, but what is uh, different here is they give you document instead. Ah, that's why we learn document. That's why we go through all the theory part showing you the the memo showing showing you the invoice blah 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 all right for what for this so by looking at the document you have to know how do we record uh in the general arm all right okay after 12 then you go do 13 and 14 and 15. Uh -huh. Okay, so page 59, question 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then page 40, 14, the 30 questions. 
yeah, that's all for today. All right, so uh, no question, then we dismiss today's class and you may leave. I will see you in the next class. All right, stay safe and goodbye.